What's up, guys? We are going to watch the Cheer Athletics Panthers from their performance at Blue Debut this past weekend. And I'm obviously very excited to watch this routine because I am one of the four coaches of this team, along with Brad, Aiden, and Brett. And this team has been so fun to coach with them. This group of girls is so hardworking. They're so eager. And it's just been a joy. And I'm just so happy that they laid out a good run um, in front of a great crowd yesterday. So we're going to dive into it. I'm not really going to react to it um, because I, for some reason, cannot take off my coaching goggles every time. Um, I watch it, I see things that we should be fixing or that could be better, and I've obviously seen this routine hundreds of times, so I'm not really going to react to it, but I am just going to express my love and my gratitude for these coaches and this team. This is my 10th season coaching Panthers, and this is by far one of the most special Blue Debut performances that we've had, um, and I'm just excited to share it with all of you and share some more information about this team. So let's get into it. We are going to watch Panthers from Blue Debut. They are walking out. Um, I am a huge fan of the new uniform. Um, Coach Aiden, one of the coaches of Panthers and the assistant all-star directors, one of the assistant all-star directors in Plano, um, had a heavy hand in designing this uniform. And I'm so glad the bows are back. Was a huge fan of the braids, um, but I just love a good cheer bow, and we're set. And I'm like, my heart is pacing like in real life during this. And here we go. So happy to start, love that little pike dismount there. I'm just so happy that they started the routine off strong um, with a solid two-man section. And this Janie Tumbling. Oh my God, I just have like, um, like a dad heart when I'm watching this. I'm just so happy and so proud. Like I said, obviously there's things that could be better, but this was just a great performance and their faces were so cute. We do have a lot of tumbling this year and I am gonna be counting it and sharing how many passes were actually thrown. Um, so we'll get into that after we watch this. These girls are, like I mentioned earlier, very hardworking. There's a lot of new girls which I think is always fun because they're very eager, they're excited to learn, and they just work really well together. They're just so just confident and poised and um, just really fun to coach, and they have fun with each other. So love this little straddle inversion that we did going into the stunt. Yes. I just, I just love watching them live um, what they want to happen happen in the moment and the crowd was great if you were at Blue Day View it was so loud having all of the Texas locations there. Our Tumblr girls are popping off across the front and zing zing zing. Yes, this was so exciting. I mean the crowd was insane. I mean I'm obviously going crazy on the side and then Brad, you can see Brad and Brett too. Ah, oh, so happy. And the girls probably are like dying. Like every time they get to jumps it's just like Oh my gosh, am I alive? Because this routine is just so difficult. The caliber of the skills that they're doing um, is just insane. And so, but right here, they look like they're warming up, which is ideal. And I love getting to the pyramid because it was loud. You can hear them counting and you can hear them slapping. And they were just having fun and living in the moment. And that's what you want as a coach. And um, what's crazy is that the day before Blue Debut on Saturday, we actually had a better routine than this one. We had less deductions with like stronger timing. Um, I mean, I'm very, very happy. We should all be happy with this. And um, But I do have a routine. I guess I could post it. Comment down below if you want me to post the pullout from Saturday before Blue Debut in the gym. And we'll consider posting it. And our dance was done by Blake Johnson. And I wish we could do our dance to the music. Hopefully it'll be ready um, for next weekend's competition when we compete because the dance with the music is so fun. Um, so I'm excited for the, the world to see that too. Now let's get in it and count some skills just like cheer education like I do on all of the other videos. Um, it's just a little weird because I know like the reason behind skills are being thrown or not thrown or like our thought process behind it, but we're just going to get into it and count it. So here we go. All right. Cheer SPN commentator John here where I am just going to talk through the routine from a skill perspective and um, just tell you how many skills were thrown on this day and 
all that jazz. Elite level appropriate skills and stunts. Um, by far the prettiest team I've ever seen. Love them so much. Here we go. 11 groups up, full up switch up to the top with a super creative dismount coming from the 11 groups with 14 standing fulls being thrown and 15 wonderfuls being thrown at the exact same time with a kickball double basket at the back. And standing tumbling, they do two three to doubles, three two to a doubles, and four two to a whip doubles. She does Arabian to double, two hand doubles, with three Arabians going, one ending in a double, the other in a full, one front to double, two front to fulls, two front to doubles, one hand double, one Arabian to double, one hand double, two full and a half through to fulls, two Arabian to fulls, one punch front through to full, one punch front through to double, one punch front through to full, one Arabian through to double, hitch kick double baskets going, hitch kick double baskets rippling, with an Arabian through to whip double at the end of the pass. That was all live. I mean, I obviously have seen it a million times. And here we go. They just rippled the inversion to single leg. That's one elite. Then we go up high to high full around TikTok. That's two elite. High to high to body. That's three elite at a very quick pace, in my opinion, with a creative dismount into a round off entrance, half twisting to the top. Another elite. Creative transition down, spinning up, spinning up. Super creative ripple, holding the foot while spinning, full and a half to body position. Another elite. And obviously not doing a dismount here into jumps, doing the three jump requirement with doubles going to the back, four of them twisted twice. Like I mentioned earlier, they're dead, they're tired, the girls are pushing. And we do five, rewind up to single leg. Five, full down tick tock to a foot connection. Two flips there, two flips there, forward flip there, into four high to highs with two inverts in the back. Full around, dip immediately forward flip with two brace flips in the middle. And this is six groups doing a full and a half up to extended level, all nine groups ending in extended. Half twisting flip, flip from the forward, and some just visual elements ending in the back going right into dance. Super sassy, super cute, lots of energy. Um, you know, in my opinion, this is just a phenomenal routine and to be doing this in November is just, I'm just so proud of them. I'm going to stop being silly. These girls work so hard in the gym, like every other team out there, honestly. Um, but you never know what's going to happen when you go out for the first time in front of a crowd and they handled it like pros and... I'm wearing my cute little Babs sweater that we got for the year, representing Babs. Um, so I'm just proud. I'm happy. We have so much to be grateful for. Obviously, there's stuff to work on. There's stuff to improve. But that's what practice is for. Um, so be on the lookout as I continue to post routines from maybe in the gym and at competitions. And we just go throughout the season. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in this video.